it is time to take a look at the Eagles second round pick, Landon Dickerson. And the first game we're going to go through is here against Tennessee. So the first play we have um, is a split zone to the left side here. So Landon's job is to block the guy who shaded to his left, which is the defensive tackle right here in the one technique. So when he takes on him, he is going to clear over to the three technique side right here. So he has nobody to his inside, so it's his responsibility to get up to the linebacker here. In this case, number 27, takes him on really well, keeps driving his feet, and ultimately pancakes him. Someone left this time, so he's going to come out here and combo on the three technique before moving up to the linebacker 38. Now, could have a little bit better footwork because he's coming up here, a little bit better balance, but ultimately he has a really good hands placement and then corrects his feet afterwards and keeps driving him for the pancake. Power to the right side this time. We're going to have the left guard pulling here. So Lanton's job will be down blocking on the one technique defensive tackle over here to his uh, left side. Really good hands placement here. Extends his arms, keeps driving his legs. Uh, and as he's trying to get out there, he ends up with a pancake. Really good job here with his eyes identifying that the nose tackle is in fact going to leave to the outside here. So what Tennessee is trying to do is get his eyes to this side. And so the looping uh, stunt here from the right side will be able to clear. But he gets his eyes up there immediately, keeps an arm here, and then bangs into him. Would like to see him have a little bit more, you know, technique-wise, you know, have his feet square and then take him on with both his hands instead of going for the big block. But when it works, it looks cool. Here we actually get to see some athleticism from him. Outside zone here, his job is to reach block on three technique defensive tackle out here. He does a really good job of that also with the help of the right guard. But explosive get off and then turning the hips of three tech right here does exactly what he has to do for Nashi to get some room. Here we see power to the right side. You're going to have seal by Lighton Diggerson up on the nose tackle right here. He down blocks him, gets a little bit of help from the right guard, a little pop from him. Uh, but ultimately, a really good job here sealing it off and then turning the hips of the nose tackle. Power to the right side here, Lanton will be pulling to the outside. And here we see he's not particularly the fastest guy, but he'll get out there uh, when it's time. Still have Nashi way behind him here. He finds work from the cornerback as everyone else is occupied. In the running game here, one-on-one -on -one against the nose tackle. Um, he's just going to be down blocking him to the right side here. Really good leverage on him. Good hands placement and do the effort here to keep driving. In the passing game here. Uh, going against the nose tackle. Notice how he puts his inside arm on the nose tackle here with the left guard, but keeping his eyes outside to see if there's anything he needs to assist on on that side. That's good awareness to keep your eyes out and look for work, even though when you're helping to the other side. Quality one-on-one -on -one rep right here. He's um, he's passing over to the right side here. He's going to take on the three technique. Good leverage as he's taking him on right here. Good hands placement. And then keep battling really nicely with him. Quality rep. Split zone to the right side here, takes a good engage up on the initial three technique. He's going to motion in here into the one technique. So he's going to take him on real well here. Good hands placement on him. Could have a little bit of a better, you know, heads up engage on him and keep uh, with his inside hip so that he gets a little bit more drive. But as he's coming up here, it's, it's a fine job. He keeps holding up his guy. Next up, we have him against uh, South Carolina here against Javon Kinlaw in 2019. Uh, coming out on the screen of the first rep here. So he's going to give a punch to him to help out the center. Good pop in his punch, and then he comes out there to the outside. Now we've got split zone here to the left side, and he's going to go and block the number three technique is out here. Moves him really nicely off the line. Really good one-on-one -on -one rep right here against Javon Kinlaw. Good get off off the line. Really good hands placement. Stones him immediately, so he's coming up there. Good footwork afterwards. Another really good pass set here against number 19 and three technique. Really good hands placement on him. See, he's getting his hands underneath the pads of number 90 here. So he has him in full control. Good extension of the arms and keep working his feet. So always have him in balance in front of him so he doesn't become hold. Here you've got power to the right side. We have Lanton combining with the right tackle up on uh, the three technique defensive tackle. Really good effort. Really good finish to get on top of him. Textbook punch here initially in number 90. Get, has both hands right in front of him, and then striking out with good hands placement, extends the arms, and then keeps it right in good leverage. Really strong combo here with the right tackle, once again here in the three-tech defensive tackle. Both guys take it on right there. The right tackle moves along, and he has him in full control here. Good effort afterwards. Next up game is against Auburn 2019, where he is going against uh, Derek Brown in number five. And we're going to see him on the first play here. He's in the, uh, an outside uh, power He's going to come out here. He's not the fastest guy as we've seen before, but he does get out here. He does find work. Rail and block there to shut off. Gets the first the next up here. We see some really good help on De uh, Derek Brown as he's beating the right guard here, Deontay Brown, uh, to the inside. He's swiping his hands away, and then Lanton takes over here 
with a good push and holds him up nicely. Power here, Landon is going to be down blocking on the defensive tackle right here in the three technique. Real good engage up on him. Has him right underneath the shoulder pads there with his arms extended. Has him keeps driving the legs and creates a good gap. In pass protection here, going against Derek Brown. Another really good punch on him right here. Throws him to the ground immediately and then comes over and takes on the uh, the stunt to the inside. That's a quality rep. Really good push down here at the five yard line against the nose tackle. 94 who's lining up riding, uh, right on top of him here. Good hands placement. Keep driving his legs afterwards here. Keep moving forward. And we see him get beat here uh, by Derek Brown with a quick, uh, the quick lateral movement off the line of scrimmage right here. Uh, tries to, to lean a little bit too much into him instead of going backwards and settling his hands. And that leaves to Derek getting through. Here come out on a halfback screen. Has some good timing on when to release off of the defensive tackle that he engages with first. Comes out there and then seals off the linebacker. Hits the block right there. Key block for Najee to get a lot of space uh, and move up the field. Really snap out of his stance right here. Not the fastest, most explosive guy, but he's out of his stance at the point immediately. See, he, he is so fast over there that he has a head start on his guy on, on mostly every rep that he's going on. Outside power see him coming out. Um, well, not the fastest, again, but does, gets the job done really well here. Gets out, finds a relevant guy, takes a good block on him. Quick processing of the line right here. Auburn doing a stunt. He notices it immediately. Sees this guy, Derek Brown, coming in. Okay, he's going too far. Taking over the next guy. So the left uh, the, the uh, left guard has a chance to pick up Brown instead. Really good work here from the interior. Here we have him against Texas A&M in 2019, where he's going up against NFL defensive lineman Justin Matibuke, who and um, Bobby Brown, who's selecting the fourth round of this draft, and also to Marvin Leal, who's one of the top defensive tackle prospects next year's draft. Here, in the first rep, he is assisting on um, the defensive tackle here in Matibuke, uh, who a really good assist right here. He's got nothing to do at this point, so he's just going to put him on his ass and then put him on his ass against afterwards. You have two stand-up uh, linebackers in the A-gaps. Really good get-off from Landon on 33 right here. Initial good hands placement on him. Good snap. Draw play here. He's going to the second level against the linebacker number one right here. Really good. Gage on him. Turns his hips and has him all the way. Here in pass protection, finds the stunt pretty well here. As Matty Buke will be coming to the inside, he picks up him well and get and then um, transfers 92 over to the uh, to the left guard well. Good get-off here. This is coming out on this uh, power, taking on 92. Really good push on him, keeps driving his feet. Split zone to the left on this play right here, and he's going up against Marvin Leal, uh, who's lined up in a nose tackle position. Really good push on him, good engage, puts him on his ass. Helps really well here with the uh, with the left guard here on the nose tackle. And as soon as he has the power to him, has one arm on him, he keeps an eye out there for Matty Buke. A really good assist, and a pancake. Outside power here, he's going to the outside from the uh, center position. Again, he's not the fastest guy, but he finds work really well. He also make, he makes relevant blocks when he gets out there. Good down block here on Bobby Brown at number five, lined up in the one technique. Good hands place him on him initially, displays him laterally, so he gives room for the running back. 